Hey everybody, this is Killer Arcade Games. 2024 marks the 30 year anniversary of my favorite arcade game of all time, Killer Instinct. Um, I decided to do a little celebration of sorts, which would be to record myself playing through the game with every single character, including the boss. I'm gonna save Idol for last, because he's a pain in the butt. Uh, but today we're actually playing as Glacius. Perfect timing there, he showed up right on time. So let's do it. This is a real arcade cabinet. I, I don't want to sound like a douche by pounding that into you, but you know, it's exciting, I think exciting to see uh, real arcade gameplay. The emulation stuff is fine, but the game actually runs differently when you're on a real cabinet. So I'm going to be using my real cabinet. I'm very happy to have one at home. Let's do it. Fire and ice. <laughs> little start off there. I missed that. That's cool. Got to get warmed up. I haven't been playing a lot again. Got to do the sparks. Love the sparks. Can't really hit a good air combo against Cinder. He just flies away too quickly. He's like a, <coughs> excuse me, a floaty character. Let's just go right into the old game. Come on. Oh, missed him. That's fine. I gotta remember to do the fatalities. Uh, well, he has three fatalities or no mercy moves. So maybe I'll uh, pull one out next. Actually, I don't remember the distance. I just had it up. Oh, one player distance, okay. My monitor is, uh, this monitor looks amazing. Still, but I've noticed over time the image is starting to squish in on itself when it's you know after it just starts up. And I have adjusted the width, of course. It's a Hanner X Polo monitor. I love it. I'm afraid to mess with it because I don't want to mess it up. But I know something, a repair is coming in my future for this thing. It's um, after it warms up, the image stretches out a little bit more, but it's probably needing a cap kit by now. Never gonna get it, Glacius XL. Sorry. Let's get one. Well, we won't do the other Let's just do this. I had the extra hit, too. Oh, there we go. It was way too far. Swallowed. Glacius was the first character I fought against when I played the game the very first time at the arcade, and I remember that roar. It was so loud that I was like, good God. I mean, it like blew me back a little bit. I don't have the cabinet that loud now because I gotta save my voice. I'm actually gonna record probably two to three of these at once so I can have them ready to go. Just in case I get busy, I wanna keep releasing them on a good time, good schedule. Get out of here. Ah! I was too late on the uh, juggle. Let's see, I know he has another ender and I can never remember it. Hold on, it's not on here. Oh no, someone let me know in the comments. It's, it's the one where he does the uh, ice pick at the end. So I thought maybe it was the ice pick move, but it is not. Let's go with another ultra just for fun. Let's hope I nail it. I think that was pretty solid. Extra hit, throw a fireball just for fun. Love this game. I've probably said this on the other ones, but in case you didn't watch them, I, I don't like to skip the versus screens, the Supreme Victory or Awesome Victory uh, FMVs. I love the FMVs in this game. I have since I was a kid. Sorry, Glacius XL. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's the guy who's great at making KI uh, tutorials, and I keep screwing up this extra move that I used to have down, and I can't do it anymore. He keeps trying to tell me how to do it, and I keep screwing it up. Not stunned yet, huh? Come on. Well, let's see, what's his uh, humiliation? His forward, forward, back, quick kick. Let's do, make him dance. Burger! 
I don't think he's actually saying anything. Kind of sounds like he says boogie, though. What do we got? Oh, here we go. That is a bright screen. <laughs> Love that little opener right there. Takes half the life away if done correctly. And stunned right there. Oh, got me. I had a perfect run, I think. Let's see, what fatality next? Uh, let's do the puddle, why not? Come on. Ah. That looks really cool. I remember thinking that was like Terminator stuff right there. Rare was so good at just like squeezing everything out of the hardware they had. I probably said that on another video, but it always amazes me because a lot of it is like just being tricky using the hardware. They're not doing anything that I guess other developers couldn't do, but it's like they think or they thought outside of the box to get as much as they could done with the hardware they had. You know, a lot of 3D rendering off, uh, off hardware, and then it was just done as like a sprite, so it's pretty interesting. I'm saying all that as if I know exactly what I'm talking about, and I don't know that I do, but don't take my word for it. I'm just thinking out loud that I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Boom, loved it. God, when I was a kid, that blew my mind. Like, what? How'd they do that? <laughs> Let's get a good killer combo here. Combo. Come on, get her. Okay, three. There it is, the triple. Let's try to get the good ultra here. Get the overhead hit first. I don't have a combo breaker, but that's not too big a deal. Ah. Don't break it. All right. It's not going to go off, but still. 33, so if I had the breaker, 35 is my best. I know there's better out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say I'm the best out there. <laughs> What's the next fatality? The ice pick. I want to make sure I get these done for all of a sudden I'm at idle and I don't even realize it. Worst thing about Glacius is you cannot read, usually you can't read how many wins you've got in a row because it's too white back there. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, he still got me. I thought we would have kind of... Uh, he will almost always hit you with that move. Uh, I was trying to guess an ender. He'll almost always hit you with his flying kick if you do a fireball at any distance from him. Sometimes you could do it to your advantage. Like, if you know he's going to do it... Oh my god, we're going to spam... Sometimes I'll do it to try to get a combo breaker, but it didn't work there. I may lose. I gotta watch it. All right, let's focus. You're gonna try to chip me to death. Oh, they went right into the ultra when I was trying to do the ender. Oh well, at least I didn't die. That would have been embarrassing this early on. Oh god. 20 hit ultra. Breaking all the records. Uh, who's next? Ooh, gotta get this fatality done here real soon. Half circle forward, medium punch. <clears throat> Son of a bee. I wanted to perfect this before I did this playthrough again. I just can't get it, apparently. I don't know why this is such a problem for me. Okay. Nope, didn't, didn't land it. That 
I finished her. <laughs> Ding! That tail! Oh my god! I don't remember that. All right, spinal. Spinal. Excited. Spinal used to be someone can't read it. Someone I used to dread fighting, but I kind of learned just don't let him bully you. Don't let him get away from you too much, and don't bully or don't let him just push you around. This is how I like to bully him, but it doesn't work well with Glacius. Let's try that one. That does not work at all with Glacius. Got him. Let's send him off the edge. Hopefully. See if we get enough distance. Oh, I don't know. Come on, go! No! Oh, he bounced off. But we're not going to get to see it, probably. Oh, we saw it. Okay. The game had already decided the round was over. <laughs> Fulgore. Here we go. Fulgore. I want, I'd love to ask them why they decided Spinal and Fulgore were always at the top. They are kind of sub-boss-esque, but you can play as them, so... But they're also not very easy to play as, either. you got to be kind of skilled. You'll see that later, as I have to struggle to get through them all. Oh! Two hits in, huh? Get out of here. A little chip damage him. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nothing, huh? Wow. Nothing. Nothing. I'm not going to ever do it, apparently. There is video footage of me doing this like it was nothing. I learned it. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh! I never get to come back. Not on, not against the uh, computer. That's all right. You know what? You've upset Glacius. Now we're going to the upset pink Glacius. Yes, you get that kick. Sorry, Mr. XL. I'm, I'm embarrassed at this point. I got it the other day randomly just doing it. Love the slowdown right there. The frame rate drops, and uh, that's something that does not happen when you play it on emulation. Yeah. I didn't think I'd have this much trouble with stupid Fogor. Oh! Oh, oh! Oh my god, I'm messing up right and left. Get out of here. Alright, Idol is not, I don't want to say not too tough, but he shouldn't be tough doing my, my uh, strategy of not letting him <coughs> get too close. As long as we're not on the small stage. Yep, small stage, cool. Get out of here. Arr! Dead. No, that was dumb. Perfect. Oh. Got him. This is not the exciting way to beat him. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. But it is the easy way to beat him. So I, I can't remember if someone said in a comment, but I think someone asked, like, what stage is this? Or what is going on in this background here? And I think it's supposed to be like an arena that is filled with lava, because that looks like seating. That looks like some kind of like, I'm special dungeon and arena guy background, but that's what it looks like to me. Oh, I went to the ultra. I didn't mean to do that. I'll take it. 
Let's get him with the extra hits. Hopefully, he's going to really make the game chug. That was like pure slow motion. I can't get the other hit. It won't let me. Wow. I feel like the audio should have been like, oh. Good vital. Great ending. There's my ship. That potato over there. It always looks like a potato to me when it flies away. Not here, the next shot. Glacius is one of the rare players to have three videos in his ending. I can't name all the others off the top of my head that do. Here we go, there goes the potato. I don't know why it looks, why I think potato, but it does. It has wings on it. All right. Well, guys, that's all for Glacius. Uh, there he is, Mark Federidge, head programmer. Name is featured in TJ Combo's stage. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it took you a trip down memory lane. Uh, 30 years of this game is crazy to me. I love it so much. If you watch all these, I'm probably going to say the same thing every now and then through them, but I'm running on the uh, assumption that everyone's not going to watch every one of them. So there you go. Up next should be... Uh, oh, no, I don't know who should be up next. I guess we'll see. It'll be a surprise to both of us. I'm just going down the line where it defaults on, and we're just going to the right until we loop back around, and then I'll play as Idle, and I don't want to because Idle is a pain to play as. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I always love hearing everyone's first experience with Killer Instinct or maybe how much the game means to you in the comments. Uh, someone left me a huge comment recently and apologized, and I was like, nope, I love it. Go for it. Type it out. I'll read it. I'll reply. Uh, I've done that with other things myself on YouTube where you just kind of fan out, nerd out over something, and it's fun. Like, I love the game as much as you guys, if you know. So just feel free to let me know, and I'll be glad to read your comments. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next Killer Instincts playthrough.